he was here, um, he was a great friend. And what he said, um, Pav mentioned that chemo makes you despair of life. Uh, shortly after Pav was diagnosed, I was diagnosed with cancer as well. And um, to face that, to have those chemicals in your body takes a lot of bravery. And luckily, I only had to have it once. And for Pav to go through it again took bravery that and courage that I do not know. And Pav, to me, exemplifies that courage, that strength, not only spiritually, but physically. Like Amy said, he was always here for us and present in the moment. If you had a problem, Pav made it his own. I loved him. I will dearly miss him. I didn't know Pav personally, so I'm not here for myself. Um, but someone who is not present right now would gladly be up here, and that is Andrew Engeser. He is my roommate. Um, I met Andrew in Romania this past semester, and we became really close. And though I didn't get to know Pav personally, I got to know Pav through Andrew. And for those of you who know Andrew, I don't think he has a bad opinion about anyone. But he, he loved Pav dearly. Um, and he went and visited Pav um, while we were over there in Romania. Um, I heard the news about Pav's death from Andrew. And another thing, I don't think there's ever a moment when Andrew is not down. Um, he's very, very cheerful. He's very supportive. But Saturday morning, um, there was a, a brick. A brick just hit him. And he... All he could do was, was move on, um, but he, I could definitely tell that, that he was down. It was the first time that I've ever seen him that down, and he loved Pav dearly. So um, on behalf of Andrew, I, I wanted to speak for him, um, but also speak to Pav that um, the love that my brother has for you makes you my brother also. I'm Barb Lovers, and uh, Paul and I had the privilege of being Pav's host family through the International Club and the host family program for the two years. Um, Luke Hoffmeyer went to the Czech Republic. He was from Indiana. And Pav was wearing a Northwestern t-shirt. Luke's parents were from Hospers, Iowa, and are good friends of ours. And Luke said, I know of a Northwestern. I don't think it's the same one. And uh, they found out it was Northwestern of Iowa. The football team had given him a t-shirt. And um, Luke later came to Northwestern. And, uh, but before that, his parents called us and said, Luke's in touch with Pav, and he's coming to Northwestern. Will you go greet him when he comes on campus and get his contact information? So I went down to the international office. I work in campus ministry, or I did then, and uh, uh, did that, met Pav. And two weeks later, they called and said, would you be his host family? And we were. Uh, we had a lot of good memories over those two years. We got to sit in the stands as his parents during the football games. We saw that football game where he got to play, and it was a great thrill. My husband played football here, too, and they had a lot in common. Um, he and Grant, our son, who was living at home at that time, became great friends, and he hauled corn in the grain wagons. He shot clay pigeons. He did a lot of 
fun things with Grant, but mainly we sat around the dinner table on Sunday with his roommates and ate some Iowa beef and had a lot of good conversation and fun. We had the privilege of spending the last two weeks with him in the hospital and then uh, with his family as they were making the decisions of what to do next. And I treasure it. I feel it was kind of a divine appointment that we had the privilege of sharing life with him during that time. And we're not able to go to the check either for his funeral, but this is my opportunity as well to give tribute to him and to send our love to Ava and Yurka and Hansa and the family and Tessa, his girlfriend, and to share a challenge to you. Um, you've heard, he loved football and he loved Jesus. And he wanted to go back to the young men of Czech and use the avenue of sport to reach the young men there who feel that church and Jesus is feminine and it is, you know, not modern. It's not the thing to do. I told him he wanted to be a Tony Dungy of the Czech. And I think that was his calling. Was his call aborted? No, I don't think so. Um, I think it was probably completed in a way we may think was too early, but it wasn't at all. And I just challenge you to use your passion for what God has given you a talent for and interest in here in this life and your passion for Jesus and use it some way for his kingdom, however long he gives you to do that. Thank you. sing one last song. Uh, we sang it last week. It's called I'll Be Okay. And um, yeah, take it how you want. I like to uh, just change the chorus sometimes to say he'll be okay because he's safe in your arms and then the thoughts of this world faded away. But uh, if you guys just want to sing it and sing, that'd be awesome. 